Hey what's up guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to fix a PC which can't boot into Windows 7 anymore. So that means if you're stuck on a boot loop or stuck on the boot screen. And I will show you now how the problem looks like on this PC here. So let's turn it on. So this mostly occurs when you have made a Windows update and you then force shut down your PC. And your Windows will break because the updates can't be applied and this will crash your whole Windows. And as you can see on this model we come to the boot screen and it also starts um, loading windows and when it will apply the updates it applies them completely but then it restarts and that over and over again and it's in a boot loop and it's basically the same problem if you have only a black screen and those bl this blinking sign and it just stops there as you can see now it's applying the updates and this will go until 100 percent and then it just keeps on rebooting, rebooting and this over and over again. So let's wait until this finishes so that you can see how the problem looks like. And here we go, it's now 100% complete and now the system just reboots and it does that over and over again. Okay, then to solve this we have to go to the repair mode and we can do this by um, restarting the PC and at the booting process you have to press the F8 key on your keyboard you can also use the Windows 7 repair disk if you want to, if you have one. And here you go to repair mode. And then wait for it to start up the repair mode, hit the enter button. As you can see now Windows is loading files and you will be uh, redirected to the um, repair mode. Okay, then when it finishes this window here should pop up and here you can choose your language and your keyboard input method. On the next screen you should enter your username and your password and then press the OK button. And then you can see the repairing options. So the first thing is startup repair, then system restore, then system image recovery, Windows memory diagnostic and comment prompt. So the first thing you should try is the startup repair. If you only have a little problem the startup repair might fix your problem. But in 90% of the cases it doesn't fix it. But it's definitely worth a try, just click on it and wait for it to go through. This can take up to 10 minutes at the most time. And as you can see it says now attempting repairs but startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically. And just go to don't send and then press the finish button to go back to the other options. So the next thing you can try is the system restore. System restore only works if you have activated this in the settings and you have created restoring points. And as you can see system restore does not affect any of your documents, it just restores the Windows files. And now go to next to go to the next screen. And here you can choose any restoration point where you want to restore to. So I would recommend taking the latest one and then go to next to start the system restore. I will not do this now because I want to show you another method on how to um, get your windows back running. And now let's go back to show you the next recovery method. As you can see the next one is the system image recovery. And this only works if you have made a system image and you have burned this image to a CD. Then you can restore from this um, image CD. And the next one is the windows memory di diagnostic. You only need this if you have tried all other methods and you may think that it's a hardware failure so a bad RAM or something. And the latest one for the pros is the comment prompt. In the comment prompt you type C double point and hit the enter button. Then it should say C double point slash and here you type DIR which stands for directory and hit the enter button. And as you can see volume in drive C is system reserved so it was the wrong drive. You have to um, type D double point and now type directory and hit the enter button and if you can see um, the files here then you're in the right directory you should see the windows folder user program files and now you type cd slash windows slash system 32 slash config and then you hit the enter button and now it should take you to this directory as you can see we are now here and now you type md space backup and hit the enter button now it has created a backup file and now we type copy space star point star space backup and hit the enter button. Now just wait a bit and then it should say 7 files copied. Now we type cd space rack back and now hit the enter button. Now we are in the rack back folder and now we type dir 
for direct torrent hit the enter button then you should see default SAM security software system and left to these entries you can see some numbers and if any value of this one is zero then don't proceed with the next steps of the tutorial because then you will break your windows completely so if none of these values is zero then you can proceed and do what I do now and now we type copy then space then star dot star space dot dot and now only hit the enter button if none of those values is zero and then it should say overwrite and you hit the A button to say overwrite all and now you're done you can now type exit to close CMD and now you can press restart and after this your PC should boot back into Windows and now the PC boots and let's see if it has worked starting windows looks good here we go we are on the welcome screen and now it should log in and here we go we are now back in windows again as you can see this tutorial has worked for me i hope this also works for you and if you have any questions feel free to ask just leave a comment here under this video and i will reply as soon as possible so thanks for watching my video and i hope i also see you again in the next videos bye